The Employment and Social Affairs Committee has just voted through a report that I drafted on green jobs and how to really maximise the potential of that, those new sectors, the transition that needs to be made and how we actually look after the people who are in those industries that are going to be in decline as we move towards an economy that deals more strongly with the environment, with combating climate change and reducing emissions. We know that what we need is a really coherent framework and what we have at the moment is this mix of bits and pieces where we say we want to invest in renewables and then we pump money into fading industries like coal with all the emissions that come from them. So we're looking for policy coherence. We're also looking to invest in what we know works. We need to invest in the supply chain right from the, the very beginning of the idea through to production and then maintenance. We need to be investing in shifting taxation away from labour, we would argue, into more environmental fields. The committee feels that you can look more widely than that. And so there we have those things in which we know we can invest and indeed should be investing. And the job potential is enormous. We're talking millions of jobs here. But we're also aware that we don't have the skills that we need to really grasp that opportunity. So the report is also saying to member states, you need to look at the curricula that you have in place. And we're not just talking about how do you train engineers in the wind sector. We're also talking about how do you, you know, give every piece of job training some sort of environmental strand so that we can really capitalise on the issues about sustainability so that we have a workforce which is aware and a workforce which is engaged because this is something else that we've seen where employers that really want to make changes really engage their workforce ideally through having green representatives in the workplace not all political groups agree but if you do that you have workforce engagement which doesn't just transform your factory it can transform your production methods your whole way of thinking about what it is you need to do and also these jobs need to be decent jobs that means that they need to pay well, they need to have decent working conditions. And just because you're actually working with recycling what other people throw away doesn't mean that your job is rubbish. It means that your job has a real purpose. And once you see that, it's easier to become engaged and indeed also to argue for a better wage at the end of it. So the report now goes to plenary later on this year. It will be discussed with ideas about the circular economy. How do we invest in resource efficiency? Because that's another driver of new jobs. And then we really want to see the Commission and Member States pick this up and run with it. Because it's something which is really dropping off the agenda for the Commission. Which is going back to the old idea that any old job will do. It's not. We need something that transforms the way in which we think, that transforms our future, so that we actually have a planet which we can live on into the future. The Commission and Member States need to pick that up, give us the coherent policy that we need, the ambitious targets that we need, and then we can really fulfil the job potential.